Hi everybody. So I just thought another quick update because I try to make these quick. Um, I have now progressed onto my new drug, the Chinese drug um, known as Tizilib, also known as BGB something something something. Um, today I had my first infusion, which means I'm hooked up to essentially a drip that um, drips the stuff into me over the course of an hour. Uh, and then I, I, I sit around in the in the hospital for another couple of hours while they, they watch me to make sure I don't fall over. I did not fall over. Uh, I drove home and um, I'm feeling fine. So there's nothing wrong with Kerry that I can tell. Um, I'll be having this treatment every three weeks until uh, it seems to not be working anymore. In uh, six weeks time, I'll have another scan and that will show some progress. Um, the scan from the other day showed that my cancer has grown by 25 percent according according to you know the criteria we mentioned in the last the last video so 25 percent since the start of the trial which is about four months ago um so hopefully this this new drug uh, tizilib will um uh, reduce that a little bit um what else is there to say oh yeah so the um when i was having my my infusion today they um, showed me the little packet of uh, Tizilib that they would be putting into me and, and pointed out that its, a, its expiry date is tomorrow. <laughs> so we're, we're living on the edge, <laughs> which is kind of good because I've always had a thing about um, ignoring expiry dates. So I, I guess I have to follow that through with medication as well. Um, Basically what happens is that uh, T-cells are a cell that run around through your, your immune system so, um, and, and they, they travel around through various veins and arteries and, and whatever and, and their job, the T-cells job is to, to check on other cells to make sure they're okay. So every now and again they, they, they bust out of the, um, the vein and they, they just sort of wander around looking for cells and, and see what they can find. And when they find the cell they sort of give a little handshake, they go, hi, how are ya? And, and then if that other cell responds with, with its other hand, it shakes um, the, the T-cell's other hand. So you've got this two-way connection going. So I go like this, and then if you respond in the same way, and we have this two-handed connection, then this, uh, the T-cell says, ah, oh, well, you're, you're working well. Um, good on you, buddy, off we go. And he goes off to look looks for more cells. But if the, the cell doesn't respond with its own little handshake, its acknowledgement, um, then the T cell goes, something's up, and it blows up that other cell. That's its job, is to roam around looking for cells that aren't quite right and to blow them up. The thing about um, my cancer, uh, my renal cell, renal cell carcinoma cells, is that they're wise to this game. And these cancer cells, they give the handshake back. So <clears throat> the T cell goes, huh, everything must be fine. See ya, and off they go. So what does the, the Tizilib drug do? Well, it's this kind of uh, gunk, which is blue gunk in the video, that, that floats along through the bloodstream, and it finds T cells, and it, it, it gunks up the T cell's left hand. So, so when the um, the cancer cells acknowledges with its own hand, the T cell doesn't get it. The T cell doesn't get the message. So, the T cell goes, "Huh, you're not very good. There's something wrong with you. I'm going to blow you up." That, that's 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 great. I mean, it's going to blow away my my cancer cells, but it's also going to blow away any good cells. <laughs> that the T cell comes across. So basically my, my immune system is going to be rampaging its way through my body, killing every cell it comes across, as far as I can see. And uh, I raised this with the doctor today, uh, the oncologist, and he acknowledged that yes, that was a very good observation, Kerry, and you are correct. And that's what causes the side effects. So I might get a rash, um, which is uh, the immune system or skin reacting to it, or I'm not sure. I might get a rash, I might get 
a heart condition. <laughs> I might get any number of things, and they're all because uh, my T cells are racing around through my body, killing as much as many cells as they can find. But hopefully, um, it will k kill the cancer cells at the same time. So, yeah. So that's how that works. Um, in three weeks' time, it'll, I'll have another CT scan, which we'll use to determine whether or not the tizzy lib has been successful or not. And then we'll decide whatever the next step might be. Hopefully, um, we'll just keep taking the, the tizzy lib while it keeps working. Um, eventually, it'll, it'll stop working, because I don't, I don't know why. But eventually, it stops working. Um, and then there is the opportunity to move on to another drug trial. Apparently there are other drug trials coming up which in involve people who have been on Tizilib <laughs> as one of the requirements for the drug trial, so um, I should fit into that quite well. Anyway, there we go. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there's another side effect that's kind of funny. Um, I'm not sleeping that well, but whatever it is I'm doing at night, I'm finding it hysterically funny. I'm having the time of my life <laughs> while half asleep. <laughs> and, and apparently last night I spent most of it with my arms in the air going, <laughs> laughing my head off. <laughs> so, um, I'm really tired today. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, good evening. I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.